All right, well, I thought I'd come down here this evening and get a little bit done. Uh, the next page on the rudder is uh, should go really quickly. Uh, I've already got the parts clico together. That's for the first step, actually. So clico the stiffeners to each other and to the uh, to the shear clips, making sure to keep the left hand stiffener on top of the right hand stiffener, but uh, no trouble there. So click them together, final drill them, uh, number 30. I'm going to use the uh, straight fluted dreamer, and then I'll click them to the spar, final drill the, those holes in common, and then uh, click on and final drill the uh, reinforcement plates that go. Uh, that back the nut plates for those two hinges there. So yeah, this shouldn't take all that long at all. So it's kind of a good thing to just, you know, knock out uh, on an evening. So that's what I'm going to do.
All right, well, so that's done. Uh, I think I might go ahead and do the first couple of steps on the following page because uh, they're nothing more than final drilling the top rib, uh, the two top rib pieces together to form the top rib and uh, final drilling them to the spar. And uh, same thing for the little counterbalance rib that sticks out here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So the plans don't mention uh, deburring this this rib yet. Uh, they also don't mention trying to flute it uh, to make it flat or uh, any of those kinds of steps. I'm going ahead and deburring it at least a little bit now. Um, can't hurt just to make it you know make sure I don't scratch anything while I'm fitting these together. I'll come back. It, it may tell me to deburr later. Um, it, yeah, I think, uh, if I remember right, in the vertical stabilizer, there was kind of a blanket statement that said, you know, go back and deburr anything that hasn't been deburred yet, that kind of a deal. So there may be something in there like that. I'm not going to do a super thorough job just yet. I just want to make sure there's nothing really sharp on it. Um, I'll clean up these corners and, and uh, you know, in between the flange flanges a little bit. I don't think it needs to be fluted. It's flat as a pancake as far as I can tell anyway and the uh, the flanges look pretty square so I'm not gonna worry about that right now um, like I say I think I'm just gonna deburr it I'll just just enough to be you know, get off anything major I'll clean it up better later whether the plants tell me to or not uh, and you know before I prime everything and all that so yeah uh, I it may be that at some point the the plans are going to stop telling you every little step and assume you know, you know, look, you got to be burr stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of, you know, doing what I think is, is right at this point. And, uh, you know, if it tells me to, tells me something later on, I'll be that much farther ahead. So, yeah. So that's pretty good there. Let's see, I already got this guy. Almost screwed up. Almost put it on there upside down. Duh.
right, so that's it uh, for all of page 7-5 and the first two steps of 7-6. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put, the, put the bottom rib back on. I'm going to take some of these Clecos out because it looks like they interfere with uh, that guy there. I'm going to go ahead and click that back on, and then uh, because the next step is to basically start putting the skin on to, to match drill for that. So basically, the skeleton is pretty much done. Uh, there's a few remaining things, uh, nut plates and, and whatnot, but uh, the basic shape is, is done, so uh, it's time to start messing around with skin. So, yeah, cool.